Oh. My underwear are yeah. not doing so great. <laughs> They're like falling apart. I need new underwear. I literally love how he's showing his underwear to the camera. When we got married, we went from two big closets to just one medium-sized closet. And waking up to a cluttered closet is not how we want to start our day. We believe the best marriage is a clutter-free marriage. We believe also that messy space <laughs> equals a messy head space. Oh, nice. Decluttering means more energy on the things that really matter. Like my wife. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kalia. And I'm Jake. And we, we are, are the, the Vedas. Vedas. <laughs> For us, getting married was a hard transition, and we believe no newlywed couple should struggle alone. Yes, we're on a mission to create a newlywed community <laughs> in where yes. we just talk openly about these struggles, and one of the struggles is freaking clutter. Freaking clutter. Our closet sucks. Our closet is terrible. It's a mess. <laughs> so we're about to use a method right now to help, I don't know, clean it? <laughs> help it? Yes, please. Make it better? <laughs> The first step is to throw all the clothes on the bed. And personally, this is a pretty amazing experience for me. We are going to use the minimalist alignment method with all of our crap. The idea with this method, which is my own personal method, is that we're aligning our stuff with the people that we want to be. There are three filters that I like to think through before I decide to let something go or to not let something go. The first one is called Iconic You. This is what part of your personality or your fashion are icons to other people. Is it the fact that you wear a satchel or you have long blonde hair or is it the fact that you have a lot of tattoos or you wear skirts a lot? And that's your first filter to think through, should I let this thing go or should I not? The second filter is the three word vision. Vision statements are crazy hard, so I just like to keep it down to just three simple words to describe you or who you want to become. And that's gonna be a great filter that we're gonna use in order to figure out, are we gonna keep this thing or are we not gonna keep this thing? The last filter is actually a question, it's does it fit? Does it fit into the icons of who you are as a person? Does it also fit into the description of who you want to become? This question really helps me align my stuff with the person that I want to be. So with all the piles of stuff that we have, we're going into our yes, no, maybe piles and that's how we're doing it from now on. Let's do it. For me, the icons that I have when it comes to fashion, when it comes to clothes, um, well, it all started when I was middle school, high school, just young in my younger days. I had such a hard time finding clothes and things that made me feel good about myself, about my body. The things that made me me, that was a struggle. And when I started leading musical worship at my church, the end of my senior year of high school, I found out something incredible and they're called kimonos or cardigans. I'll show you one. I realized that they make me feel so comfortable, so me. They dress up any outfit. So this is, for example, one, it's super colorful. Don't know if I'm gonna keep it, it's a little too much. But I like it. <laughs> just give it. You do? Oh, wow. But yeah, so cardigans are my thing. They're long, they dress up every outfit. I love them, and they are a huge icon of mine, as well as wavy hair, having my hair be down, you know, high-waisted jeans, just stuff like that. I'm on this journey. Back in college is when I first realized that I had some icons, like it was the first time I grew up my hair. I ended up getting a satchel instead of a backpack. I know it was a big deal, it was a very big deal. Some people would call it a man purse, a merce. Uh, Anyways. Yeah, you was bold wearing that. <laughs> yeah, and it was cool, at least for me, because I like just being different and looking different. Mm -hmm. And that was just a part of like the icons that I had. Um, I guess now it's probably, oh. let me find a shirt. It's probably like, shirts like these and where they're like grandfather shirts buttoned down kind of weird looking shirts with skinny jeans and boots like these and i i just got these boots actually and i and i love that style and i want to keep going with that style but that's what i'm probably known for the three words that i would say describes how i want to envision for my fashion life would be i just first want to say I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, My underwear are yeah. not doing so great. They're like falling apart. I need new underwear. I literally love how he's showing his underwear to the camera. Bold, bold. Thanks for interrupting me with that Anyways. disturbing little thing. <laughs> uh, the three words that I would say works for me and I want to funnel everything through would be natural, 
that was rough. Uh, bohemian, outgoing. The third one was tough, so outgoing it is. Uh, and I think the, the even the cool, so I don't know if any of you guys know Lauren Daigle, but her fashion's awesome. And if you don't, Google her. Google her. She is a artist, musical artist, and I love her in every way. But I would say I would like to be like a free-flowing, natural version of Lauren Daigle. That'd be awesome. For me, my three words are uh, colorful. I like being creative. So creative that I don't even use the word creative. <laughs> I decided mm -hmm. to use the word colorful instead. That's my first word. My second word is efficient. I love being um, efficient, making sure I don't have too much stuff. I like, yeah. um, you know, on the other side of my fashion, you know, besides being a grandfather, is totally a minimalist. I love just black shirts. If you can't tell, Kaylee and I both like them. Yeah. And then my third word is intentional. I like everything to have a story or a reason why I have it instead of, well, it's been in my closet for six years. I don't know. Yeah. So those are my three words. This is sad because I just got these. You're not going to wear it yet. Should I let them go or not? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, you're disgusting. Uh, <laughs> sadly, these are just too big. Yeah, you need to get, you should just get rid of them. That's sad. When you buy slippers on Amazon and you That's don't so return them. It's so frustrating. We know. should have just returned them. How often am I wearing dress shoes? You should just have one. Just one? Yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm getting rid of my fall jacket. This is a mini funeral. I've had this since, uh, since fall of freshman year of college. Eight years, seven years, something like that. Rest in peace, fall jacket. I just gotta deal with Kalia. Here's the deal. I have a bunch of clothes that I wanna sell, but I don't wanna do the work, right? So what I said is she can sell them on her own Instagram, but she can keep the money and she can do whatever she wants with the money. You best not I will when yeah. I'm the one who's spending. Because the clothes that I bought myself, she gets to sell and reap the awards. I don't even get any of it. So that's the deal that we made. If you like the deal, go on her Instagram and buy the clothes. There we go. Hey. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for the woman who gave my wife this in the bridal shower. It has been well worth it. <laughs> Ew. Guys, this is an important part of my life and it's sentimental. And my best friend gave it to me because she understands the passion that I have for SpongeBob SquarePants. And this is Patrick. Guys, this sure doesn't even fit me that well, but it means so much to me. Patrick. She wears it as a shirt. Patrick And as much as I love sleeping with Patrick. <laughs> Honestly, it's so uncomfortable I can't even wear it. Oh, there's your decision. <laughs> hey. All right, just look at it one last time. Keep coming. Oh. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we will show you our closet in a second, but first we really need to tell you that yeah. you should join our newlywed community. This is for Please. engaged couples or people who have been married for five years or less. No newlywed couple should struggle alone. And mm. this is a group and a community where you can ask questions and work through stuff mm -hmm. together. So this is our journey into minimalism. Well, not really. This video is not that. But we do have a video about our journey into minimalism. Awesome. Ha, you like that? That was pretty good. Wow. All smooth, right. Smooth. Here we go. Here's the closet. Ready. Friends, this is our closet decluttered. So exciting. I didn't know Jake could actually have less clothes than he already did. 
And then for me, actually, I have spaces between my hangers and three pairs of jeans. It's pretty, pretty good. Got rid of a lot of stuff. Look at that. Ah. During our closet decluttering, Jake and I definitely threw shade at each other on the clothes that did and didn't work. It was really sad and depressing. <laughs> uh, make sure to subscribe. We hope that you can do the same thing with your spouse one of these days. See you next time.